Hi guys, this is Emily from Emily's Anthology and today I'm going to be doing a really simple smoky eye um, and um, I just wanted to explain at the beginning just why this makeup look is so perfect for both hooded eyelids and um, monolids. The reason why is because we are putting the eyeshadows in a sort of outward cat shape so that's going to really open up the eyes and also it doesn't rely on any crease coloring though we are bringing a little bit of the dark color into a sort of fake crease which adds dimension to the eye and um, at the same time lifts hooded eyes so on monolids it's going to add dimension and on hooded lids is going to help really lift that eye and define the shape and disguise any of the hoodedness if that makes any sense um, I also am going to be trying out a couple of new products that I was sent so I will be reviewing them in sort of a mini review as I go along and as I use them in this tutorial. I hope you guys like the tutorial and if you do, please watch on and find out how you can get it. Okay, so to start off with, I did my base. The product that I used for foundation was the Arbonne Cosmetics Perfecting Liquid Foundation. It has an SPF of 15 and I'm using the color Fair. Then I did a little bit of concealing on some spots and scars that I had and for this I used the Max Select cover up and this is in the color NC20. Then I did my brows and I used the Shuramura Hard 9 eyebrow pencil and this is in the color Seal Brown. Um, this is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils and um, I use this on the days when I can't be bothered with an eyebrow powder or when I want more of a light brow. So, by way of introduction to the Arbonne Foundation, um, it's got a pretty good coverage, I think. It's really nice and dries down to a sort of matte but glowing finish. I really like this. This is um, a little bit fair, a little bit light for me maybe, but the coverage is really good and um, I would definitely recommend this for someone with an oily skin because it's a really pretty, really matte finish. I also smoothed some lip balm onto my lips and I used the Uriage Berry Derm Lip Balm. This is really good if you've got really chapped lips or it's the winter time or if you've got lips that are sensitive to lipsticks and react to lipsticks. This is a really good kind of barrier to put in between your lips and the lipstick. So to start on the eyes, I'm going to be using another Arbonne product. This is one of their matte eyeshadows and the color is Ocean. What I want to do is just put a nice wash of color onto the lid. And take it into the crease as well. So now that that's done, I'm going to take another Arbonne eyeshadow and this is the color Titanium. It's a nice graphite-y color with shimmer running through it. And I'm going to pick it up with a pencil brush. And I want to place that color at the outer corner of the eye and kind of pull it in towards the center of the lash line. I'm going to extend it outwards because I want to create a little bit of a cat shape just to lift my eye. And if you have droopy eyes or hooded eyelids, this is a technique that you might want to do as well because it lifts the eye really nicely. Then I'm going to take the same blending brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to blend the edges of the color into the purple eyeshadow. You can probably see that I lost a little bit of the intensity of the gray eyeshadow. So all I'm going to do is just go back in with the pencil brush and reapply my eyeshadow in the places where I feel I need a little bit more 
and then I'm gonna blend it back out again. And you can just keep going until you achieve the intensity that you want. I also wanna run just a little bit of it halfway through my crease. And what this does is it creates a little bit of depth and shape for the eye. These eyeshadows are really pigmented and really nice and easy to blend, which I love. As with all eyeshadows, there is a little bit of fall down. So if you're not really good at applying eyeshadow, I would suggest you skip the base, do your eyes first, and then apply your base and conceal so that you can clean up underneath the eye if anything happens, anything falls down. Now I'm going to take the same pencil brush that I used earlier and just run the eyeshadow along the lower lash line. I'm going to bring it quite a way down. And I also want to deepen the color along the lash line a little bit. Now I want to use a product by Ellis Fast as an eyeliner. This is her... E304 and it's just a really pretty purple eyeshadow color but I'm going to use this as an eyeliner so just using the brush that comes with the product I'm going to run a line along my lash line and then wing it out a little at the outer corners. Now this particular product and color is pretty difficult to use, so I would suggest you use it with a primer or stick to using it as an eyeliner if you're not good with makeup. I'm also going to take a little bit of it onto my lower lash line. Moving on to the lashes now, I'm just going to coat my lashes with a coat of the Face of Australia Impact Curl Mascara. So I just applied my false eyelashes and I cleaned up a little bit underneath the eye and um, everything else is looking pretty good. So now I'm going to move on to the cheeks. The product I'm going to be using for the cheeks is this Daniel Sandler watercolor blush. This is in the color Cherub. I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand. And then just using a clean finger, I'm going to pick it up and just kind of blend it into my cheeks. Now I want to contour this look a little bit, but I don't want it to look too bronzed or heavy. So I'm going to be using a blush instead of a contour and it's in a really light color if you can see here. This is the Illamasqua powder blusher in the color Disobey. I'm just going to pick it up with a blush brush. This is the GL2 brush from Royal and Langnickel. This is from their silk line. I'm just tapping the excess powder off on the back of my hand and lightly, really lightly doing some contouring on the side of my face.
and I'm also going to bring it up into the temples slightly towards the center of my forehead now if you have really oily skin then your skin would be a little bit sticky from both the foundation and the cream blusher or the watercolor blush whatever you want to call it so it might not be the ideal canvas to put a powder contour on so what you want to do is powder your face first and then go in with this powder contour that way it won't stick to your face and form any weird patches now you can just stop here or you can add a little bit of a glow to your skin and that's what I'm gonna do with this product from Sisley this is called the Golden Touch it's a cream based highlighter and it has a really pretty gold kind of tint to it I'm just gonna be picking it up with an NP set foundation brush and just lightly tapping the color in on my cheekbones and I'm gonna bring it a little bit towards the apple of my cheeks as well so the light kind of catches this area when I smile I'm also gonna place it down the center of my nose And what this does is it's going to warm up the skin just a little bit because of the fact that we're using all cool toned makeup here. This just adds a little bit of warmth, a little bit of sort of, I guess, uh, contrast to that coolness of all the makeup. And for any warm skinned people, this is perfect. Finally, to finish everything off, I'm going to go in with a lip gloss. The one that I'm going to be using is a really pigmented, really gorgeous one. This is the Creolin lip gloss, and this is in the color Toffee. And this is just a really pretty beigey color with a very, very slight peachy undertone. Now this is really pigmented, so I'm not going to apply the whole thing with the brush. I'm going to just apply a little bit the way I did, and then just blend it all in with my finger. So that's about it for the tutorial. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please subscribe up above and like down below. Thank you once again so much for watching.